Hi kids, today on 31 Days of Horror, I jumped on Shudder. Uh, this was a bad day, I usually like going for movies, no matter what it is. Uh, you know, like 31 Days, I'm going to try to go for something I'm in a mood for. I couldn't find anything, so I just rammed right into a movie. Uh, this was on Shudder, Shudder original, called Stillborn. It's about a mother named Mary, played by uh, Christy Burke. Christy uh, has been on uh, The Haunting of Blair Manor, and I think she was in a, uh, one of those uh, Twilight movies. Uh, she's married to Jack, who is Jesse Moss. Jesse was in uh, Final Destination 3, and uh, like a Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Uh, well, anyway, uh, this young couple, Mary and uh, Jack, are expecting twins, but only one of the babies survive. Uh, Eventually, uh, Mary starts suspecting and then is completely convinced that a uh, uh, evil force is out to snatch uh, Adam, who is the baby. Uh, Adam is played by the niece of the director, uh, Grace Christensen. Uh, should go to the director, Brandon uh, Dickens. Christensen, uh, he directed it and co-wrote uh, the screenplay. He is known for Superhost Z. Uh, something else, I think. Nope, nope. Stillborn, I think, is his first uh, first directorial feature directorial uh, achievement. His co-writer is Colin Miniha, Minihan, excuse me. Well, he gets a new job uh, after the birth of the uh, the child, and uh, they move into probably a little bit uh, upper than they're used to. You know, he's being. Uh, promote it and such and she's being you know things are happening that uh, cause her to feel that basically this naked old lady who is in serious need of uh, a bath bad <laughs> uh, they are seeing a therapist I have to mention uh, Dr. Nielsen is played by uh, Michael Ironside. Uh, I think Jesse Moss is from uh, Canada, too, so that kind of lets you know this is a Canadian production. Uh, this is one of those movies where you don't know if uh, the, this lady is uh, losing it or if something's actually happening. And uh, I'm not completely satisfied with the ending. Uh, it kind of leaves it up in the air. That's that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, what's interesting, at one point, Jack uh, sees a mark on the baby that is uh, associated with this type of supernatural uh, situation and uh, we already know Mary has seen it and Mary has seen it on uh, an older picture of a baby that went through uh, the same situation and those marks are on the baby that baby as well uh, that kind of leans you toward this is actually happening 
honestly, you don't know. <laughs> and uh, if you're going to lean toward that way, you're probably going to be like me and say, yeah, something's going is happening supernatural. But it, it, it does really well in maintaining that type of thing. Uh, plus, there's a, there's a kind of a sense of fun in here. Uh, Christy Bur uh, Burke kind of, even though she's not showing much emotion or whatever or saying much, she's doing a tiny bit, maybe not just tiny bit of overacting, you know, getting the, the, the shakes and getting intense with her face. Uh, it almost comes off as comical. I kind of like the movies, you know, it wants to be taken seriously, but not as much where they, you know, you're thinking it's pretentious. I, I don't know if you can, you, it's possible to say that this is pretend, this movie at all is pretentious though. Uh, I liked it. I didn't love it. it. It's a fun movie. And that's the thing. It is. It's a fun horror movie, and I do recommend it. This is from uh, 2017, and it is currently on Shutter. Well, that's it for uh, 31 days of Halloween for today. This is number 19. 19 reviews, and I'm still going. Uh, well, until tomorrow, stay safe. Let's have a good time. Bye now.